Welcome back to the Tony Montana channel. Thank you for coming back to another video. This video is going to be educational. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover the pattern of the dog and its significance on an athletic animal. Okay, the pattern of the dog, why is that a big deal? And what, it, what is it? Okay, the pattern of a dog is... It's, um, it's exactly right after the foot of the dog up to the ankle uh, of the dog. Um, I'm going to show you a diagram and I'm going to show you uh, obviously the diagram, a diagram of one that is correctly uh, and the other one that are, are not correct or not uh, appropriate for an athletic dog. Now here, as I was saying, is the beginning of the foot to here. This part here is the pastern. Here you can see pasterns that are um, not genetically or because of diet, they're not uh, uh, appropriate or not correct for the animal, which these will lead to injury and um, I guess uh, difficulty in movement. Now, the pastern is essential to an animal because it's a shock absorbent. It absorbs the shock of running, walking, jumping, and other things that will obviously have contact with the floor or contact with a hard surface, and um, it's absorbed by the body through these pasterns. So if you have a pastern that is too uh, down, or down pastern, or down on their feet, as some people would call it, uh, these do not have the appropriate shock absorbency than one that is, uh, this one doesn't show it well enough. This one, for example, let me see if I could find you another picture of it. Here is another example of a down and a normal pastern. Now again, here, this is a down pastern. Again, this here will definitely become um, prone to injury. Here, there is a, a slight uh, inclination which is appropriate because if it's too too upright it will not absorb it will it will all the joints will take the uh, the shock of running a shock of uh, uh, jumping so you don't need you don't want a, a one that is too up upright but it definitely don't want one that is this way let me see if I can show you uh, the pastern angulation. Here we go. This is one that shows the pastern, the slope that you would, the correct pastern should have. As you can see there, there is a slight angulation for again for the absorption of, of shock. Here again, there is another picture of a correctly uh, built pastern, or correctly uh, uh, co appropriate correct pastern that goes again from the foot through the up to the hock okay in this picture now we are seeing a pastern that is uh, down on the f on the foot front as you can see here this is no good now this seems to be a puppy so I am going to mention that uh, pasterns uh, can become uh, down on um, down on their feet for two reasons or, 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 or reasons for example if uh, diet if a dog or a puppy is doesn't have the correct diet a balanced diet this may cause uh, a, a bad pastern also around four or five months when the dogs are teething uh, the the teething process uh, absorbs or, or a lot of the calcium from the body from the bones which makes the bones uh, weak or weaker or softer and so you know the cartilage becomes softer so puppies may be may be down on their um, pasterns down on their feet uh, but again this will go back to normal you have to keep uh, pay attention to these type of things um, the other reason why dogs become down on their pasterns is genetics so if if one dog has it it will likely, uh, it will likely uh, have a, an effect on their offspring because it is a genetic issue. Okay, 
and you have to be careful. Here's another example of a bad pastoring. And I'm showing you examples. Okay? And you have to be careful. And you see another another example of a bad pastor down on their feet. And then again, these dogs will become in pain. They will be uh, prone to uh, ligament issues. Prone to, uh, I guess, again, these are the dogs that will not become athletes. Now, when you're buying a dog, when you're looking to buy a puppy, and you're looking to assess the parents, you definitely need to make sure that th it, it, this particular aspect of the dog is healthy. Because if you're looking for an athletic animal from an athletic breed, like the American Pitbull Terrier, you're, you need to make sure that the animal is healthy, physically, mentally, so, and psychologically, obviously, emotionally, so that, that the dogs can't, you know, breathe down those up correct, uh, I guess, correct in, in traits that you're looking for. Now, I am going to show you a, 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 a person that is definitely saying that uh, um, the, the person that sells American people terriers and boasts of having the best of the best. I am going to show you, uh, let me put you back here so I can find it. Okay, uh, let's see if we can find them. Let me see, uh, okay. Now I'm gonna show you this dog from a supposedly golden vein. Now you notice that the in in oops. Let's see, as you can see here, you notice I'm gonna stop it there. That the video is a little farther, is a little unusual, and it has the grass covering the pasterns. Okay, um, it could be a coincidence, but if you notice. Other, let me go and see if I could find the others. I'm gonna show you one that the person forgot to, um, also probably that it, it was going to, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so here's another video of the same dog. Now here, you're able to see the, the pattern better. But people will say, wait, but it, the dog is on the slope, so it, 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 that probably could, you know, that probably could, could have done the deal. That probably is making it confusing. So I am going to uh, speed it up to a place where the dog actually starts turning around. Uh, I think around here, the dog is going to turn around so you can see his pasterns appropriately. Now here, you can see the pasterns, are, he has bad pasterns, which mean, will mean that the dog will be, be prone to injury, will send, this is not a puppy, he's a four or five year old dog. So, and this dog is being used as a stud. Uh, and he, they are, uh, this individual is selling dogs from his uh, Ciego the Savage. It's supposed to be a golden vein dog. But as you can see for yourself, I am pointing it out with the video he, uh, the individual is using to promote the dog that the dog has bad pasterns. And this will again will make the dog just not appropriate for um, breeding or athletic uh, endeavors. Simple as that. Again, I'm posting it. You can see it for yourself. This is not my video. It has not been. Uh, it has not been uh, edited. No Photoshop involved. Once again, let me show you. And this is going to be the reason you're going to see this dog uh, videotaped in in places where you're the, you're hiding or they're hiding the view of the pastors. In this particular one, I had to find it way back. I don't know when it was. But this is when one that shows that this supposedly champion that has not marked on him uh, is shows terrible 
well, almost terrible pastoring, which will again will be uh, given to the offsprings. Anyway, so this is an educational video, and I, I'm trying to show you that, that you have to be careful uh, who you're dealing with and when you're trying to buy an American People Terrier. Um, I'm going to show you here a, another example of the same dog and the pastern. Mysteriously, watch watch the guy moving the camera up so that you cannot see the pasterns. You see that? This is kind of like a magician. It's like a magician. They, they, um, they point to the place you they want you to see so you don't see the important part of the trick. Anyway, this is Tony Montana. Until next time.